Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rekt Capital and welcome back to the channel and thank you guys so much for 4,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, whether that's on a daily basis, on a weekly or monthly basis. Thank you guys for supporting the channel in the comments down below for liking, for subscribing. It means a lot to me. Your support really does go a long way and it and Rex Capital really wouldn't mean a lot if it wasn't for you guys. So I'm really grateful and really happy to be with you guys on this roller coaster of a ride that is crypto. So thank you guys once again. 4,000 subscribers. Here's to 4,000 more and beyond. And if you haven't joined the channel yet, feel free to subscribe. Let's dive right into today's video. This is going to be a quick update for the yesterday's video because we have seen a lot of things happen in the prices of altcoins so this is going to be a quick snapshot update of what has happened since yesterday in yesterday's video we're going to start with swipe of course in yesterday's video i spoke about how we saw a breakout from the flagging structure straight into a very strong resistance and we were actually seeing a pullback into the top of this flagging structure but we broke down unfortunately this being the cloud that we really needed to penetrate for that resistance to disintegrate that didn't happen we didn't really see a candle close into the cloud of resistance in fact no this couldn't test into support just a springboard price to higher levels we rejected from a strong resistance and now we actually lost the pattern that is the flagging structure so we return to this base and this base is really important just look at this base right over here this base of support it really needs to hold otherwise we're going to break down to this level over here so that's something i'm going to be watching for very important this candle actually doesn't close like this on the daily because we could actually see that break down to those lower levels and even a breakdown in so far to relief rally test this as a resistance and then go towards the downside so that's the outlook on swipe at the moment let's dive into the next coin that is polka dot polka dot was really nicely playing out this fractal over here and it even had the 12 uh, degree slope on the high low so so many things working in its favor and though we saw a wick towards the upside a wick that I mentioned that was going to most likely happen in yesterday's video that wick didn't quite contact the blue diagonal resistance over here which means that this wick missed that resistance by a few percentage points but in any case it couldn't press past the resistance at the time of 450 and we have lost the higher low and now we're at the base of this macro descending triangle right over here a typically bearish pattern and if we break down from here it's going to be quite a drop into the low three dollars so very important for dot to just secure itself not close below this support on the daily because that's probably going to confirm a breakdown and a drop a very long drop it's going to be so we could be seeing some wicking, but we really need to look at confirmation over here. But as you can see, with DOT and with Swipe, they're both at their key supports. So as long as Bitcoin holds its own support, that's going to translate into altcoins as well, holding supports of their own. So you can see this is a very precarious situation for Polkadot. But let's talk about a even more precarious situation on Wi-Fi, Yearn Finance, which has only just developed since yesterday. I spoke about how this relief rally. So let's let's just unpackage this a little bit more. This was a demand area that we spoke was going to be a source of demand. But the buyers weren't that strong because we just saw a relief rally into a previous resistance over here. This is a new resistance. Previously a support, but now a resistance, which gave me some insight into this being a relief rally. This demand area running out of steam and we shouldn't have lost this area right over here because that would have meant that the neckline of this macro head and shoulders right over here would be triggered and now we're actually just in the process of losing that neckline so this head and shoulders right over here is in the process of actually materializing into price so this is a very macro bearish predicament so we're probably going to see some 
uh, downside to as low as 12,000, but I don't wanna get caught up in the bearish euphoria because people tend to overextend their downside targets whenever we see uh, red candles like this. That panic really does uh, speak and translate into people's predictions and expectations for price. So it could go as low as 12,000, but it could go just to 15,600. So that's the sort of area that I'm gonna be watching for on this retrace. So we just need to see a confirmation in this head and shoulders panning out. So not much to be excited when it comes to this sort of price action because we have a lot of bearish predicaments at the moment and some altcoins are at support, but I'm super excited about the newsletter that I'm going to be launching in the next few weeks, October 12th, on Monday, and this newsletter is going to be a celebration of what Rect Capital stands for. It's going to be market analysis, cutting edge research, private technical analysis sessions, and lots of educational posts about risk management, technical analysis, and psychology, as well as data science, all for an early bird discount of less than 50 cents per newsletter. That's $5 a month. So click in the link in the description down below to subscribe today and make the most of that early bird discount. But having said that, let's dive into Chainlink, another coin that we covered yesterday. And I was talking about this downtrending resistance over here because essentially Chainlink broke down from its sideways channel over here. It relieved rallied in towards the bottom of its uh, sideways channel, which happened to be confluent with the downtrending resistance. And what a rejection really clean rejection and now we're going to see a return towards the area over here and this area could still see some sort of higher low form let's see how that materializes but this is a strong area of support which has so much confluence check out the video from yesterday just for a bit more detail about that so i'd just like to see how chainlink is going to behave there because that's going to give us insight into what to expect going forward but for litecoin btc full analysis in yesterday's video but essentially we wicked towards the top of this 48 uh, $40.80 cents to 48 dollars 80 cents range so essentially speaking we rallied from the bottom of the range to the top of the range something i spoke about a week ago when i made that litecoin video whenever that was but this is essentially consolidation on the macro scale and we're probably going to see a a um, retrace within this range after this rejection from the range high. So still consolidation, but these are the two key levels, this being the range low and this being the range high. We're just gonna probably see consolidation between these two. And these are essentially trigger levels for a long or a short, whatever the case may be. But in any case, this is just higher time frame consolidation for Litecoin. That was a 16% rally from range low to range high. Nothing going on for Litecoin at the moment. And when it comes to Cardano, we spoke about this long term gauge of investor sentiment, the 200 EMA holding as a support. But the fact that we didn't really get much of a rally from this point didn't give me much confidence in this continuation being any more than just relief and in fact we're losing this support at the moment and once we confirm this daily breakdown we'll probably see a revisit of this level and the reason this level over here is quite key because this is the last stand level before seeing quite a bit of potential downside for ADA so you can see this sort of recurring theme in altcoins at the moment number one many altcoins are at support and that just showcases what Bitcoin needs to do. This is a very correlated market to Bitcoin at the moment. Is Bitcoin going to break down from support? Then all coins are going to break down from support. Number two, a lot of these are playing out their macro bearish structures like Wi-Fi or DOT. Well, DOT hasn't quite yet played that structure out yet, but it is setting itself up for that. So it's really important that these base support levels don't break down because that's going to translate into a lot of value shedding in altcoins at the moment. So we need to see what Bitcoin is doing. Very correlated market at the moment. And lastly, VeChain, before we wrap up, this essentially was a weak bounce, something I spoke about in yesterday's video. Not much confidence in this bounce, and it does look like the buyers are getting exhausted here. So we're probably gonna see a breakdown from this region quite soon, and we'll probably see a revisit of the black arrow, which would be a very interesting thing because this is essentially a double bottom formation. And if we test the top of this double bottom formation as a support, that would be essentially a breakout and then a retest of a bullish trend reversal formation. 
which would be an interesting price predicament for VeChain. But having said that, that's about it for today's video update. Thank you guys so much. Thank you all 4,000 of you for supporting the channel and tuning in, whether that's on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, and of course, liking, commenting. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Rekt Capital, and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak soon.